bacteria. Yes, bacteria are really important. Some can be harmful to us, others are beneficial. We've got them on our skin, in our mouths, and of course in our digestive tracts. We call them intestinal flora and can't digest the food we eat without them. Our bodies contain 10 times more bacteria than they do cells. That adds up to about 100,000 billion. What's more, bacteria move strangely. They move randomly. To be precise, like this one, they move in a straight line and then change direction. Another straight line, and there it goes. Another change in direction. And when you get lots of bacteria together, things get more complicated. Now, if we give them something tasty, what do you think will happen? Hmm, not very efficient. But what happens when you're dealing with real bacteria? Well, scientists found out. Here are our little bacteria, all individually excited at the edge of these narrow ducts. Will they manage to get a taste of the glucose we're going to give them? Ready? Go! They move as one. It seems bacteria know how to get along. Well, sort of. Scientists managed to gain an insight into this phenomenon by making certain bacteria fluorescent. The resulting statistics showed that the retilinear movements got longer and the sudden changes in direction were more often towards the food. Bacteria communicate by producing molecules that they can recognize. That's how they attract each other. From the random mass emerges a common behavior. As a result, they move in perfect formation. This synchronized movement resembles that of other astonishing groups of animals, such as insects and also fish. Sometimes from chaos comes order. Sometimes.